I was running that business successfully, nicely. And I taught a number of young people in IT. I taught a number of people in young people. So some of you who talk about social media, you don't know me. Me, I've taught people, I've empowered people physically. There are people that are working in big organizations and they pass through my hands. I taught them how to hold a screwdriver. Of course, they were coming from schools. But I, was, I gave them an opportunity, you know, to have that experience. And some of them have really excelled. So, I'm not going to be a person. Because, I mean, I'm an IT person. Anywhere I can go, I can go to the laptop, whatever, whatever. Me, I am a very empowered person. I'm not going to be a person. I'm not going to be nothing. So anyway, the point is that Mikarire was my client. So I know Mikarire from that point of view. Now, when I started my politics, Mikarire really distanced himself from, from me, like many other clients, which is understandable because, you know, I mean, when you're in politics, whatever, but they, they distanced themselves. But there was a time, there was a time when I was desperate. I was desperate. I got an intel, you know, because mu mu politics. Even those who are in government, there are those who like us, and there are those who don't like us. So in in as much as the government treats me this way, I've got a number of people who are in government who actually agree with me, who actually like me. You you must know this. You must know this. You may hate me. But I'm telling you, I've got a lot of people that are working for you, that are working for you, who actually agree with me, who actually admire me. Some of them have even helped them. Some of them have even helped them. Some of them have even helped them in my little way. And they appreciate me. Some, they, some of them, they know, they know, they even know that Tahari doesn't, it is not about money. In a, when I'm intervening for a person, it is not about money. When I see a need, when I see that somebody is suffering an injustice, I come in, it doesn't matter whether you have paid me, whether I know you, whether I don't like you, I will speak for you. And some of them have spoken for them. Some of them have really helped them. So when some of these bad things are happening, I get to know. That those are part of my intelligence. I get to know. When you plan bad things against me, I get to know. So there was a time. When I got the intelligence to say, hey, hey, where are you? I was actually at home. And then I made an age sign. You know, at my, home, it's, at my house, it's like a farm. I've got everything at my house. I've got sugar cane, I've got vegetables, I've got bananas, I've got flowers. I mean, that's why I miss my home, really. I have everything at my house. I have everything. I'm, I'm comfortable. I am comfortable at my house. So, I said, I said, I said, I said, it started from the garden. I just got a phone call. Hey, where are you? I'm like, ah, I'm at home. And hey, right now we are coming. We are on our way. Get out of your house. That is how I left the house. Now, mdala mdef mapanganda nishi na fumile panganda na kaptula mdala na kaptula because I didn't know how far these people were, whatever. So na fuma, I'm driving around. I don't know where am I? Where will I go? Where can I go? I didn't have money. I didn't even have my wallet. What am I going to do? <clears throat> so, okay. I started thinking about who, who can I go? Who can I go? Then I like, mm -mm. I need to go into a hotel as quickly as possible. Okay? Because, I mean, look at the way I'm dressed. So let me go into a hotel and uh, then I'll, I'll, think, I'll figure out something. So, I thought of my friends. Who do I call? Who do I call? Me, me career came into my mind. So I called Mikadile. Mikadile, and he answered. I said, Mwana, ni kwatako situation. Baka pokola bane mpepekain. I need to go into, you know, a hotel and sit whilst I think about something. I, I have money, but I don't have my, my cards with me. I've left my wallet. So um, whatever the bill I can incur, I can sort it out later. <laughs> Mikadile, he helped me nicely. Ah, we no No, um, uh, uh, let me call you back. Let me check around the hotels, my hotels, and then I'll call you. So after that, we na phone. If I na get, no man na let us in. If I na phone, I can ishapon depth am camelos. 
And then I was driving through Kamloops. So I was, I was waiting for Mikaride. I said, okay, let me stop. Because, you know, ule nsha, ule tonton kanya, you might even have an accident. So that's how I drove into Unza and parked somewhere. I parked somewhere there, waiting for Mikarile to call me back. Mikarile, I waited 30 minutes, no call. One hour, no call. Nasa to my phone. Namu to me, he didn't pick. I kept on calling nothing. I'm telling you, Mikarile, I was very disappointed. I was very disappointed with you. Very disappointed. Very disappointed. I'm like, this guy. I mean, at least he would have told me to say, no, I'm not able to help you. Then to keep me waiting here. And this is one thing that you have to know. You people, hey, no, I'll help you with this. Hey, I'll help you this with this. You should know. Don't, if you, if you are not able to help, just say you are not able to help. Don't give us, don't keep us waiting. Because when you do that, some of us at that point, it's a matter of life and death. So you expose us when we sit and start waiting to say, okay, this one will do something. You don't know what may happen tomorrow. So please, Napapata, you people, you, our friends, and I know this is not just happening to me. I know even other politicians, even other civil society, don't promise if you, if you can't deliver. If you can't deliver, tell a person, no, I can't deliver. I can't help you. So that, you know, that person, Asalaman, not Wamu Vepa, no, Lolela, and then this person is waiting. You know, Minua Omu know that desperate is about, is at like, at a point of death here. It's a matter of life and death. Ero one hour. Ambo kutumina ma phone, you are not responding. Mula kefi muchita. And some of you, even you, my friends, you know. Mula ke, you, you really, you really frustrate me. And that's why sometimes I shout at you. Ero nga nambo kumi shout at, no, that you are not good. Whatever, whatever, whatever. But mwala bachi, ni mwe wamu ntendeka. Because if you don't promise me, at least I will not, I will respect you. I will not even hold you accountable. I will not, you, I will not hold you to, to eat. But when you promise me, I'm sitting there, hey, I like something, I like something, and you don't. It's very bad because you expose us, you know. Anyway, Mikadile never called. And of course, I, I've never spoken to him because I called, I called, I never, so I, I've not even bothered. I almost deleted his number. It doesn't matter. So, now, of course, Mikarile, uh, Mikarile is that guy that really runs away from politicians. Mikarile runs away from politics. Mikarile runs away from politics. He runs away from politicians. You know, he runs away from politicians. He wants to secure his business. You know, no, I'm a politics. Ah, no, I'm a politics. No, I'm a politics. So, Many times, Mikarila is mentioned in my politics, but never come here. I didn't know him. I used to eat with him. Eh? I used to eat with him. I know him. The guy doesn't like politics. He runs away from politics. He runs away from politics. So, hey, 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 Mikarile, PF, whatever, whatever. Nothing. Nothing. I'm telling you, Mikarile runs away from politicians. And I'm giving you this example myself where I needed help from him. But because of my politics, before Tuale Umfuana, I was doing business. Since I went into politics, I'm giving you a true story here. I'm giving you a true story. He couldn't help me. But today, the, look what is happening to him. This UPND, they are tinkering around. Since UPND came into power, they have been hovering around me, Karide. You know? Like, like hyenas on a carcass. They have been hovering around Mikarile, hovering around Mikarile. They want to pounce on him. And who is going to protect Mikarile? You think the courts will protect Mikarile? You think the lawyers will protect Mikarile? They can't. They finish. These people, when they come for you, these politicians, when they come for you, they finish you. Look at Wamdala Wafred Membe. Look at Wamdala Wafred Membe. Where is he? Look at Wafred Membe. They came and brought down posts. There was a good infrastructure. Some of us who used to go per post, there was a proper infrastructure there. Proper infrastructure. Eh? Proper infrastructure. To a layer per post, to a layer for what? In a layer for what? But a very pico, what in that? I would be a guy, socialist. Eh? So, Palanchi, 
nga wapita na wapita na you know uli ne nsala ta uwe te jala jikupita po fa fred yo pomudi e pomudi ah ka shin palancha ah no train kuri tudi obwai mwali obwai eh uyuna nkano uyuna nkano joseph mwendo koto amuishi bile pala pa post nga amukumu mona la kuma lunch lunch during lunch hour mwa mwali obwai anyway but now look where you, what is happening there what is there it's nothing it's nothing now the the other the other the other person is uh, I'll, I'll put everything together let me go let me talk about uh, andrew kamanga andrew kamanga is also a man i know andrew kamanga imwe i was reading ama charges that andrew kamanga afiro kuri pire i evadi sendenda la mashama ticket a 300 pin imwe mwe vant do you know andrew kamanga do you know andrew kamanga andrew kamanga has got money Andrew Kamanga has got money. Andrew Kamanga runs this uh, electricity whatever at Shanidia Nankane. I've forgotten the company. I mean the guy, the guy that guy has got money. This is not the guy that you want to run the pama 300 pin na ma ticket. Andrew Kamanga has money. Andrew Kamanga is rich. Andrew Kamanga has got properties. He has got properties. Andrew Kamanga is nothing compared to Valamulanda pwati banani banani abaleli da mufaz Andrew Kamanga doesn't need faz to to finance him he doesn't need faz to finance him e since Andrew Kamanga kwali nkongole shinga ku faz kwali nkongole shinga but when Kamanga came in in dalama vali lipira wa faz shan 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 faz was 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 almost the, a, a, a liquidated was insolvent until Kamanga came in Andrew Kamanga doesn't need fuss. He has got money. Andrew Kamanga brought accountability in fuss. E ole lo muisa muika that yo Andrew Kamanga is corrupt and whatever whatever whatever. But what I'm talking about here is Andrew Kamanga before the elections before the elections Andrew Kamanga was like he he supported UPND He supported UPND. He wanted UPND. He wanted that kind of chairman to be president. He was even coming up with my investigations yaba PF to say no, he's meeting with PF, he's meeting with he's meeting with UPND, he's meeting with UPND. But the truth of the matter, he wasn't. He wasn't. He wasn't at least you know from what I know. I mean he's a person that I know, he's a friend. And in our discussion I never heard him to say no I'm going for this meeting a UPND meeting I, I most of the time he was actually complaining why are these people accusing me of meeting this one why are these people I'm me I'm not a politician me I'm not a politician but truth be told he really wanted UPND to win and I'm saying this because he's a friend so we used to talk at that level now Look at Mikalile's situation. Mikalile, no no no, politics. Ah uh, ah uh, ah, uh, tayari. No 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 no, you you are a politician. Bakamanga, no, ah uh, polit- politics. No 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 no. I don't want politics. I don't want politics. Eh, hey, I'm not want to be I don't want politics. I don't want politics. Eh, hey, you can even go kuri Wampoha. Eh? Hey? You can even go kuri Wampoha. Ah politics. Ah, no no no. no. Ah politics. Ah no no no. Eh. Hey, hey. But look what is happening to you people, ka? Look what is happening to you. And some of you we have even approached you and saying please help us whatever whatever like I've told you a story of Mikalile here and you have refused because you look at us to say nfo ba chilandelande we are in politics so you no 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 you don't want to associate yourselves with us but now when these things are happening you think your money will save you you think lawyers will save you you think the courts will save you they will not they will not and let me tell you what can save you it's people it's politicians let me tell you business community don't count on your lawyers your lawyers you can pay them as much as you want they will go in court they can argue as much as they want but at the end of the day there is a judge who is sitting in front who has to make it a, 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 a who has to pass a judgment and these judges are directly linked to the state and some of them are called nganishino inshiku we have judges who are complaining because the president is calling the president the haka in the ichile ma cause some of these judges 
He calls them, some of these judges, he calls them and tells them off. Of course, they can't come out and say these things, but we know. We know. And when we say these things, no, we cut in, we cut in. But you do these things. You do bad things. And when we talk about them, at no arresting. What kind of people are you? You do bad things. You do bad things. You influence judges. You influence, you know, th these people. And when we tell you off to say, stop influencing these people, because they complain. They tell us, how do we know? We don't just dream. Of course, I'm not going to be stupid to come here and say, no, this is the judge that told me that you called him. No, I'm not going to do that. But the fact is that you know that you are doing these things. And when I say that, it's not that I'm breaking the law. I'm not breaking the law. I'm not breaking the law. I'm not breaking the law. I'm telling you to stop doing bad things. You cannot be, you know, uh, frustrating justice. You cannot be terroring justice to your desires. No, it is not right. That's why we are running away. We are not running away because we are, we are guilty. No, we are running away because there is no justice. If there is justice, we would be in court and argue our cases. What I'm doing here is not committing a crime. He's doing what a politician is supposed to do, is to talk. That is what he's supposed to do. So, Imam, our business community, if you think that your lawyers, if you think that your courts will save you, they will not save you. What will save you is when you have many people like Shudu Fatayari talking. You have Mundubire talking. You have Kasondemwenda talking. You have Slavoj talking. You have Savoy talking. You have uh, 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 Shalakateka talking. Kalaba talking. When these people have got a voice, when these people have got a voice, if you facilitate them, you empower them, they are talking. These are the only people that will save you. They will save you. They will be scared. These are the only people that threaten the politicians. That's why I joined into politics myself. I was in Zambian Voice Civil Society. I changed to become a politician because I knew the only way I can fight politicians it is to be on the same platform as a politician as well. Because they know that when I talk, I am gaining influence. I am gaining support. And one day we will compete on a ballot. And they will choose between Tirufatari and Haka in the HM. That is why they are scared. So in Mamuma business community, therefore I'm kishe. This tendency that you have of running away from us, not wanting to help us, you are just shooting yourself in the foot. And don't think you are okay. If you are that no shalimu akabamu. I'm sure when that day when I was busy pleading for Mikadira to help me, he didn't see, ah, it's okay. I mean, let him suffer whatever. Yeah. But trust me, UPND is, is serious. Wants to bring down a lot of these business, these business communities. They want to bring them down. They want to bring them down and they have brought a lot of people down. A lot of people have been brought down. Muzambia mtu alikwete wa muruwa wewe isi wa muruwa. Tu alikwete wa muruwa na matraks yao. Eh? Na fira fina nke ne kule kuna nke ne kule ku acha ni ku eh fira fiwa la bale panga wa wa mdala wa ati bana ni wa muru bali kwa bali kwete bali kwete chi breweries. Eh? Ni chat breweries. Eh? Echo bale rani nya chira chi brewery. Na matraks where is it today? Eh? Where is it? I have spoken about Savenda. Savenda was big. Look at what is happening to Savenda. They are tearing it apart. These business communities, you need, trust me, you need your insurance. You need political insurance. That insurance if, which you get for your companies and whatever, whatever, will not cover you when politicians come for you. What will cover you is political insurance. And political insurance is in people who can talk. People, it doesn't have to be me. There is Kason Demwenda there. Kason Demwenda is in the country. Kason Demwenda, what a, what a, what a, what a, how many of you help Kason Demwenda? Eh? Uyo Savoy, ala kuma kotu ukosha nchani, how many are helping Savoy? Na hile ukwa mrelanda, ukwa, 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 ukwa. Yes, the local people have welcomed ukwa. They have welcomed ukwa. But, do they have the resources? Do they have the resources? Who has the resources? It's you, the business community. 
For Uka to succeed, it needs you, the Mikadiles. It needs you, the Kamangas. It needs you, the Sabendas. It needs uh, the business community, the trade. You need it. Don't even pretend to say, no, we don't do politics. We don't do politics. Ngaba <laughs> Mishila. No one will save you. And the politicians, Mukapsa na fiapa chave chave. So you need insurance. Support politicians. Politicians don't make money. We don't make money. That would never go through a chan chan chan. Now we don't make money. Hey, we run out of my businesses, but really, it cannot sustain our political activities. Look at me. I've been flying around from one country to the other, one country to the other. But each time I fly, my friends, I mean, tickets are expensive. Air tickets are expensive. Hotels are expensive. Eh? So, yes, I mean, I can have a business, but that business is only buying carpenter eh, and the whatever, whatever for my wife and children at home. Eh? But my expenses need somebody to help. And if in there and the fishing car, support us. This days you are quiet. Ngabami Konka, you want Tadi to talk about it. Eh? You want Tadi to talk about it. You even send to my messages. Hey, Randako Padifi. Hey, Randako Padifi. Hey, Randako Padifi. Ndera and the Shani. Shikwete. Am I resources? I need resources. I need resources. So, Ndikuno Kunse. Ndere Wutauka. Ndere Wutauka. I need resources. Mwiraika la Vetondolo. Because, I mean, no Shalimo Akabamo. One day, one day, you would wish. You had a few people standing to defend you. One day you need you have a few people standing to defend you. I'm a, I'm a lawyers, Muzambia number. I'm a lawyers, yes, we need them lawyers. But I'm a lawyers cannot resolve all our issues. Go and ask Makebi Zulu. Makebi Zulu goodness is that he's a politician and he's a, he's a lawyer. That's why Makebi Zulu is powerful. A lot of you know Makebi Zulu, you know, and you fear Makebi Zulu. Yes, he's intelligent, but because he knows how to, you know, uh, handle politics and handle the law. That is why. And even in the business community, you need, you need the charlatans like ourselves. You need, I'm not saying, it's okay, you may not come to Chilifa Tayari, but pick some of these guys. I'm a journalist. I'm a journalist. I'm a journalist. I'm a journalist. They are not making money in Zambia. A lot of journalists in, 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 in our country, they are not making money. A lot of journalists, Bafolama 2 pin, 2 pin, 2 5, I'm a journalist in Zambia. But these are the people who are going to write stories about you. Who are going to write stories about you. And many times, I mean, they are being bought by those in government. A number of uh, media houses are being controlled by state house. Are being controlled by state house. A number of media houses, picture. Kamanga has stolen money. Kamanga arrested. Eh? They look, ah, we want to is corrupt. Why? Because you know, you are not helping these journalists to at least. I have an independent mind. Some of these journalists are very good. But if you genuine people stay away from these activities, you stay away, you leave these people vulnerable. You leave people like me vulnerable. You leave people like me because now, you know, one more you know, eh, I mean, your mind is altered. Just that some of us to adjust stubborn in that. Nangum shani. I stand on objectivity. It is not about what you pay me. I'll tell you. I'm talking about these people. It is not to embarrass me, Karile. It is not to, emb to embarrass uh, um, Andrew Kamanga. Andrew Kamanga is Mr. Integrity. Even in cases, I don't even have to think twice. Andrew Kamanga cannot get in the Ramashama ticket. I'm a 15, 20 pin, whatever, 40 pin, Esho Kamanga Ewe. 300 pin, Esho Kamanga Ewe. Kamanga, who is he? I mean, you don't know Kamanga. You don't. He's a rich guy. He doesn't need to steal. Once he was a 300 pin. At the same way. But who's a salary of UPND? 
And who is going to defend you? Who is going to defend you? And look at the media. How we are covering it. Whether we can have one picture. You are looking like criminals. Because you, you detach yourself. How am I politics? How am I? No. No. I'm telling you. Start. Start. I'm not saying look at Tayari. Look at people. There in Zambia, there are a lot of people. They are advocates. There are people that are talking. There are media houses that are struggling. You know. To, they are trying to balance up the stories. Please look after them. That is my plea this afternoon. It's not to embarrass you, Mika. But look, you're being smart. Oh, in our politics, in our politics, in our politics. It's not going to help you. You need some of this, you know, whatever, whatever. You don't have to show it, but do it in a way that at least you have voices. You have voices. Anyway. Naranda sana so apande yani ndi muku ya nindonge fiola I will be flying eh e ticket na list ticket 36 pin 36 pin 36 pin eh e you need money you need money eh ndana yapansha pati nje mebe hotel bill ya ndi mwala dabo who is going to help me but ngafia chitike fint no tayari eh randa ko palifi randa ko palifi mule njafu wako mule njafu wako Anyway, no sharimu akawamo one day you will remember me. Ziko mo kwambiri and have a good day. Bye.